Oof. This one really hurts. I really wanted this project to work out through Kickstarter, but it has become increasingly apparent that this is just a scam that took a lot of money from a lot of people. So I can go on and rant for hours, but instead, I'm just going to go over what I got to replace my hopes and dreams that were shattered by Storaxa, um, enabled by Kickstarter. So if you're like me and you wanted to use this device mainly for storage, uh, for a Plex Media server, for your R stack, anything like that, um, I'm essentially replacing it with two components. One is this five-bay drive enclosure by Yoda Master. It's called the Y-Focus 5-Bay, and it's a USB-C device that claims to do 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. The next is a Minis Forum NPB5, which is a mini PC with a 13th gen i5 13500H in there with 32 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte hard drive. Uh, and for the form factor, it's really awesome. It looks like it's got two two and a half gig NICs on the back, as well as two USB 4 outputs. So I could potentially do multiple of these drive bays without any speed reduction. Everything was packaged super well, tons of padding in there on both the drive enclosure and the mini PC. Now, Minis Forum, they're just constantly pumping out new models. So this was actually kind of a, an old stock that I got on eBay for a little over 400 bucks. Um, but it met my needs. They're coming out with some new Mini ITX stuff that looks awesome too. I just didn't feel like waiting. And that was all a little bit more expensive. The Yoda Master or Yoda Master, however you say that, I got on sale on AliExpress for $149, and it took six days to get here. So just buy directly from that Yoda Master store, and zero complaints there. If you want it faster or with an easier return process, it is available on Amazon for $249 right now. I'm super impressed with the build quality of both pieces, but the all-aluminum construction of this drive enclosure is phenomenal. Even the drive caddies are all aluminum. It's really remarkable. So only time will tell how good it really is in the long haul or during the setup process. So follow back when I get some drives in here and slap an operating system in there. In the meantime, this is your friendly reminder to stay the hell off of Kickstarter. It's just become a cesspool for scams.